Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make sure that the eyes are primed with a good primer. And this is what I'm using from Urban Decay, the anti-aging primer. And I already have that applied. So I'm going to start with the highlight. I am using a pigment from Glamour Doll Eyes, Bare Naked. And in the highlight, I'm going to be applying this color from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's in Reckless. And slightly below that, I'm going to apply this color from Inglot. It's number 605. It's a pearl color. For the lid, I'm going to be applying this 24-hour pencil, 24-7 pencil, and Noise from Urban Decay. I'm applying this to the lid as a base. And I'm applying this to the tear duct also, top and bottom. Top of that base, I'm going to apply this pigment from Heavenly Naturals, and it's called Kisses. And I'm applying that right on top of the base. And then for the outer eye, I'm going to be applying this color from Heavenly Naturals and it's called Pandora's Box. Then to blend out this harsh line, I'm going to be using this pigment from Facefront Cosmetics. And this is called Weekend Warrior. For the lower lash line, I'm going to be applying Max Petrol Blue. Okay, so these are the eyes. I'm going to apply these lashes, number 117. And then we'll be back to discuss glitter. Okay, so I have the eyes done. I like to do the eyes first and then apply glitter last. I don't have any foundation on because you don't want to put the glitter on and get it all over your makeup that you already applied. So you can save that for last. So you want to get your products together that you're going to be using. Um, you got to get your glitter first and um, it's always good to have um, a glitter that's cosmetic glitter or make sure it's eye safe so that you don't get any in your eye and cause any damage to your eyes. Today I'm going to be using the Sally Girl glitter and it's just I think it's called Fuchsia. Uh, some other good uh, cosmetic glitters, Lit Cosmetics, um, Eye Candy Cosmetics, those are a couple of my favorites, but I use all different kinds as long as it's eye safe. Um, the next is Adhesives. Today I'm going to be using Liquid Sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. 
and this is like a in a liquid form another good adhesive and liquid form is uh, the clearly liquid glitter base from lit cosmetics this is also really good prevents a lot of fallout or you can go this route Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue this is more of a um, I guess you can call it almost kind of like a cream substance that you can apply to the area you want the glitter and then just this is like a sticky base so you just apply the glitter and it'll just stick to this a couple of adhesives I wouldn't care to try or don't like I tried the uh, LA Splash uh, uh, glitter base or uh, some kind of base I think it's called I didn't like it because when I applied it to the lid on top of the shadow it kind of just rubbed the shadow off so I didn't care for that some people you know use that and like it but it didn't work for me and some people like to use lash glue now I've never tried that but uh, that's just something I just never tried and didn't think that I would want to do it that way so the best things I like to use are the either the liquid or the shadow glue or the uh, glitter glue um, next you need to apply the glitter so some people use their fingers um, you can also use brush I'm using this brush um, pointed gives you more of a concise application um, or for application you can also use a liquid liner glitter liner you can use this as itself to just apply glitter or you can use this as an adhesive to apply that first and then put another glitter on top for applying the glitter I like to have something I can apply it to it makes it a little easier so um, to to have something to hold the product so that it's easier to get to so um, I got this mixing tray from Coastal Scents and what I do is I'll put the glitter in one and I'll put the adhesive in the other and that way I can get to it easier Next, you want to figure out how you want to glitter to appear on your eye. So you can have it, like the previous picture, real concentrated and opaque, where it's just packed on. And the way that you'd want to get that applied is with the proper type of brush and application. So you can use a flat, stiff brush like this. You always want to use synthetic brushes. So this one will, you know, pack the glitter on. And you can also use a, you know, pointed brush like this. That'll get it more concentrated onto one area. Um, adhesives that'll get it more opaque would be, I would think, would be the glitter glue from Too Faced. Or you can use the liquid sugar or a liquid base. If you want your glitter to appear more dispersed and spread out over the eye then here's how you can apply it. Um, I usually use like a fluffy brush for applicating the glitter where you want it to be kind of random where it's just not concentrated like the previous picture and I usually will apply a small amount of the glitter to the brush and then I'll spray it with Fix Plus and then you can just randomly tap it over where you want the glitter to appear and then it'll be more dispersed instead of just in one place. You also can use your finger anytime you want to use either the packed on appearance or dispersed you can also use your fingers to just apply it to it. 
And last is location of where you want to apply the glitter. You can apply the glitter anywhere you desire. Um, right here on the lid, all over, lower lash line, um, anywhere. But uh, in the tear duct, top and bottom, I've applied it everywhere. But there's one place I haven't yet, I don't think, in any of my videos. And that's just in the lower tear duct. So that's where I'm going to be applying it today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to apply the eye candy liquid sugar to the brush and the key is not to use a lot and when you get the adhesive on the brush you can then dip it into the glitter you only want to use a little glitter at a time when you're you when you're applying it so I just got the very tip applied with the glitter this will prevent a lot of fallout and a lot of excess glitter getting all over your face so once you have a little bit applied to the brush then you can build it up as you go as you want it to look so gonna apply it right here in the tear duct and you want to use patting motions be careful not to get it in your eye <laughs> just a little at a time see it there so now I'm sparkle-fied and um, as a surprise this is a look of uh, starting a series of Valentine's Day looks that I'm going to be doing for the next few Saturdays they are going to be featuring some new lit glitters that I will be debuting. And they're all going to be Valentine's Day inspired. So this is the first one. Stay tuned for those. So for the lips, I applied this lipstick from Wet n Wild in 521A. And for the cheeks, I applied a La Femme blush in Golden Ruby. And for highlight on the cheeks, I'm using the Face and Body Shimmer from Nika K. And this is in BS11. So, I hope you like this look, and I hope this look will inspire you to create something of your own. Um, also, something I was going to tell you about the glitter. You want to make sure that if you apply your glitter to the lid, you want to make sure you keep your eyes closed to let it dry completely so it doesn't transfer to other parts of the lid. So, um... I hope that glitter information was informative and helpful. If you want more information or want to see some more glitter applications, check out my link below where it will show a playlist of all my previous Sparkle Saturday looks. Thanks for watching. Bye.